these heroes have been tearing up movies, comics, and mobile games lately. But when it comes to console and arcade games, eh, uh, not so much. Unless we're talking about Lego games and Marvel vs. Capcom, nothing against those. But while we're waiting for a big, beautiful current-gen showdown, let's reflect back on the Avengers video game career. We're not going to mention all of the games that they've appeared in, so let's focus on some of the older or more obscure ones that you may have forgotten. Or if you just happen to have a really great memory and haven't forgotten these games, enjoy this little trip down memory lane. So there were a number of early games that had one or two Avengers in it, but it was really Captain America and the Avengers that brought the team together. A version was released in 1991 for the NES and arcades, but this beat em up would also come to the SNES, Genesis, Game Gear, and Game Boy. Players could choose between Captain America, Iron Man, Hawkeye, and Vision, and fought against the Red Skull and all the pixely dudes you see in this picture, including Mr. Ultron himself. The next game is Avengers in Galactic Storm. This was an arcade fighter from 1995 and followed the comic book storyline Operation Galactic Storm, which is all about the war between the Kree and Shi'ar alien races. One of this game's claims to fame was that it was one of the first fighting games to have assist characters. Sorry Marvel vs. Capcom, you weren't the first. One year later came Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, a Super Nintendo beat-em-up made by Capcom. The story of this game is loosely based on the comic series The Infinity Gauntlet, which is the same storyline that the Marvel movies are leading up to. War of the Gems even has Nebula in it, looking angry as usual. By far the weirdest game on our list is Marvel Super Heroes 3D Grandmasters Challenge. Only released in Europe, this game actually shipped with five cardboard masks that had old school 3D glasses in each of them. Perfect for kids or people with no self-respect. We haven't played this game, but according to the internet, it's like a board game that has action bits with arms on the screen. Oddly enough, the first person view was similar to a cancelled Avengers game that was supposed to come out around the first movie. This game was in production at THQ's Brisbane studio, but sadly the studio closed down and the game never came out. Well, hope you enjoyed that quick look at Avengers games. Of course, there's way more Marvel superhero games out there with my current fave being Disney Infinity. Aw, oh, those guys are so cute. I'm Naomi Kyle, and for more Avengers news and games, keep it on IGN.